Yeah, looks like there's a lot of stuff here. Let's check it out. Resort Casino, Players Club. It's cool. from the 80s. Dang. Wow. So cool. Davison. That is freaking awesome. Just hidden in a bag. What the fuck is this? Oh shit. <laughs> wow. That is fucking hilarious, just hidden in a bag like that. Oh my God, front and back. Need a tag. That is so cool. Always search for the bags. How's it going? Throw it down right here. Perfect. Yeah, you know, they look like they're pretty well used. How yep. <laughs> a buck, okay. Does that work for you? Okay. Sure. And then How many shirts? Per, I got that oh. shirt, mm -hmm. and I got three shirts there. It smells good. Yeah. I assume. Dollar? 
Dollar for the band down there, okay? Sure. sure. Dollar for the skirt? Yep. This one's mom. Freebie on that one. <laughs> we have this one for free. So we're going to go two, two dollars on all three of those t-shirts. And okay, here's a Juno Alaska hat. Can you go a buck on the hat? Sure, yep. Yeah. Okay. Five bucks all together. Five dollars all together, sure. I saw this. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you want for that? Uh, how about two fifty? Two fifty? Okay. Yep. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Love the satin jacket. Front and back, that's awesome. And then this, <laughs> these Nike shoes are awesome, but this Harley shirt still takes the win. I never find really good vintage Harley Davidson, especially single stitch um, and front and back graphics. I don't find that all the time, so when I do get it, it's, it's freaking awesome. So cool. Guys, this is why you go garage selling. <laughs> and you go digging for bags. Always dig for stuff, I swear, because you'll always find good shit. All right, looks like we're going to church today. Church sales are always the best. Trucker hat time. Four hats for a dollar. We can do this. Donuts, that's cool. Damn, I'm good. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, that's cool. Is this is uh, K products. Okay. I think I picked out as many as I could that are actually decent. These yellow ones I've sold before, like $25, $30 hours each. We got. Yeah, <laughs> lots of it. Four for a dollar. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. See ya. Okay, have a good day. Thank you too. Bye, John. Bye, Rhonda.
How much for the jacket? The Carhartt? Uh -huh. Ten. Ten dollars? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Got the ten dollars, appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Have you too. Nice day we're here before, too. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Have a great day. I know you want it on, on those. Uh, so if you're, if you're wanting this one, it's online for $32. If I could get five, I'd really appreciate $5? it. $5? Okay. Yeah, yeah that's fair. <laughs> it's yep. a, it sells for like 40 bucks. So yeah. Uh, thank you, my uh -huh. No, I'm good. Thank okay. you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, I'll be back. Thank bye you. Bye. Yeah, bye-bye. That's a cool shirt. Yeah. Got any other like shirts like this at all or? Oh, okay. How much you asking? A buck? Okay. <laughs> awesome. Great. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Yeah, have a good day, man. Just this one today, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're Thank you. Would you guys do $5 for the shirt? I guess. $5? Okay. It's a collector's item. Oh. Yeah, he, uh, that's why it's that mark on the back. He was, they did a movie on him and uh -huh. he was quite famous. Yeah. He got killed on the bullet. Oh, no. Um, 
for oh. Thank you uh -huh. very much. Thank you guys, you. yep, good luck with the sale. Thank you. See, see you guys. What is up you guys thanks again for watching as always appreciate all of you guys amazing garage sale haul right here you know i spent roughly 70 80 dollars or so for all the stuff give or take um i have roughly maybe 1200 dollars or more worth of items a lot of vintage got a lot of snapback cats it may be worth more i don't really know 100 it's kind of hard to estimate this kind of stuff um but yeah a lot of vintage got a lot of a lot of cool items so let's just check it right out before i say my favorite two finds were the lane frost single sit shirt thought that was freaking awesome and then the harley davidson single stitch front and back yeah i just love the graphics on this one it's not 3d emblem or anything but still even this kind of shirt i'm hoping i can get at least 50 bucks or so or more for that one and the lane frost shirt i'm hoping maybe to the right person um might be able to get 75 80 dollars or so for that i guess they made a movie about him he's like a professional bull rider made a movie called like eight seconds so i haven't seen it yet i'll have to check the movie out but yeah sweet shirt there and then the hats have to be kind of quick on these pietro's pizza corduroy easy 30 dollars for that one duo fast staplers nailers this one's k products Red Lion Hotels, love that one. Shell 2000, made in USA. All these hats I'm gonna build sell for like $15 or more. Mid America Cedar. A couple of these little retro party hats, meaner than a junkyard dog. That's awesome. Damn, I'm good. James Corpor James River Corporation Halsey Mill. It's like a painter hat. Another big patch, Eugene Lennon, overall supply. Got two of these Yale Pacific hats. These are like forklift hats. Hats. Probably get twenty dollars each or so or more on those. <laughs> I like this one. Daylight Donuts. That's freaking awesome. Rainbird irrigation systems, snapback. Here's the other contents of this cap loves to party. Got this Federal Miguel, it's like a bearing company. I like the splash kind of graphics on the front. That was pretty sweet. And last but not least, got this bandage tires, trucker hat, with the big patch. This one I might get $30 or so on that one. But yeah, hats do really good, guys, if you don't sell them. They always do good for me. We also got this Alaskan hat. Pretty sweet. Got this Heineken hat. Awesome. And then this other one here. Castor oil, super clean. Like, this one's pretty sweet. This might be $25, $30 on that one. And then this camo. Like, I think this is Columbia. Yep, Columbia. It's like a hunting hat. Easy money on that one. Oh, and then in that bag that I got that Harley shirt. This is like a bandana. I didn't look this up. Don't do a lot of bandanas, but I'm sure I'll get something good for it. Sweet graphics. And then as far as the shirts here, got a lot of single stitch in here. Never even heard of this brand. Hang. King 10, pretty sweet. Comps look pretty promising on that. This one's awesome. Wallace and Gromit, this is like from 1989. Single stitch, made in USA with the Delta tag. That's awesome. Don't know what I'll get for that. Maybe $50 or so. This shirt was pretty cool. I thought this was gonna be worth a little bit more, but it's like kind of Y2K-ish. Early 2000s maybe. The Simpsons, like Sopranos. Nice and clean. Again, Delta Tag. 
maybe twenty, thirty dollars or so on that one. And I don't find a lot of the giant tags. Yeah, giant made in USA. These tags are for me hard to find. I don't see them, but this is like a band called Skinny Puppy. <laughs> Never heard of them, but some of the shirts sold pretty well. It's not front and back at all, so... Oh, well, I guess it is. Maybe another $30, $4 or so on that one. Pan Am Airlines. Or no. Pan American Airlines System. Sweet graphics there. Haynes tag. Picked up these Pack Sport denim shorts. Hoping to get maybe 25 or so or more on that. Got this Oregon Ducks crew neck. It's not vintage, but someone's gonna want this one. Newer Nike tag. Got this, I never buy Abercrombie and Fitch, but this is like a really heavy, like heavy knit sweater. Yeah, I'm hoping to get maybe 30, 40 bucks or so. Really nice. Columbia, I think kind of sucks. Nowadays, I don't feel like I do too well on Columbia, but this is probably the oldest Columbia tag I'm able to find. They're only asking eight dollars for this jacket. Um, it's a Gore Gore-Tex. Yeah, Gore-Tex. So I don't know. Maybe twenty-five, thirty dollars or so on that one. Again, Columbia's kind of hit or miss, I think. And got the USC Trojan hoodie. I think they're only asking $2 on this one. Made in USA tag. Then these Nike shoes. I thought they are going to be worth a little bit more. Prices are kind of everywhere, but, you know, I really didn't pay anything for them. So I'd be happy if I got at least $30, $40, maybe $50 for them. But I just love finding vintage Nike. Nike on the back, bottom. I like the, the front of these. Yeah. So yeah, these are pretty sweet. I'll have to look these up a little bit more. I'm not too sure what I'll be getting on those. Here's another hat, Carhartt hat. Nothing special. Just a strap back. Yeah. Got this Beauty and the Beast calendar from 1993. They're only asking 10 cents for that. Disney stuff always does good. Then got the Carhartt jacket. Comps for a little all over the place. I saw some sell between 100 to 300. So don't know exactly what I'll get for it, but you always want to find the ones with like the wool lining. Um, but when you look up the code, WJO97, when you look it up, uh, they they sell anywhere between 100 to 300. It's kind of what I was showing. I only paid $10 for this. So Carhartt is one overlooked brand, I think, but this brand is always like super expensive. So anytime you find like these work jackets and like the, the double knee pants, always pick them up because they will sell quick. Got more single stitch. Got another one. Not too crazy. Then this shirt. Oh, this one is. I just like the graphics on it. I haven't even looked it up. Don't know if it's like a skating brand. <laughs> I haven't looked it up. <laughs> Players Club. Another casino shirt. Players Club. Single stitch. Some Ralph Lauren dark denim pants. Wrangler camo pants, maybe $15. I didn't even look those up. Got some blazer jerseys. These are, these are nothing special at all. These are just Adidas brand. I, I only paid a couple bucks a piece for these. Got another one here. Those aren't worth a whole lot. Carolina Panthers. Newton. I haven't even looked that one up yet. I think this is a woman's. Yeah, it's medium, so don't know what I'll get on that one. 
And got this Adidas like trap jacket. This is like from the Philippines. I think it's newer, but hopefully get maybe 25, 30 bucks or so on that one. And last but not least, got this Paras satin jacket, Reno. Made in USA. Yeah, anytime I find satin jackets, I just pick it up. Grand Slam slot tournament. So yeah, first week. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you guys haven't already, especially if you like watching this kind of like thrifting content. I'm always enjoying making these kind of videos for all the other resellers out there trying to figure this stuff out. Um, but yeah, continue watching and I'll continue making videos. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Bye.